go let's start to listen now first of all let us know what we are going to learn about the objectives the learning objectives so as we know that since we uh, we are going to have we going to learn driving in few years we are going to learn cooking in few years then this is going to be our life skill similarly if we know about the financial literacy if we know about how to manage our money how to manage our uh, financial decisions then it is also going to be considered as a life skill not only in india but in the whole world we are they are developing on the, the lessons based upon the financial lessons so learning about the money and its functions communicating effectively for the exchange of goods and services also understanding the value of things to barter so how we going to trade how we going to use our exchange of goods and the services for the value addition also not only the life skills it is going to impart a critical thinking skills into our lives it means it will help us to identify that what are the different types of currencies and what are the values used in the different parts of the world we in india we have uh, indian rupee note but in uk we will have we are using the pound pound sterling in the other countries we are using different in usa we are using us dollar so their identification is also important then next is differentiation between the goods and services we will learn that also that what we are consuming on daily basis is going to be goods but what we are experiencing and also we have to pay for that those services these are services then we have the decision making it means it will help us to analyze it will help us help us to choose that which goods and services are going are going to be traded or what should i not what should i not buy or what should i buy for that for the better being of our life during the sale and during the festive seasons we are going to have a conflict of choices so this will help us to we can say neg uh, neglect those decisions and be our better decision makers now let us start with a story first few terms are going to be important so let us learn few terms first what are goods so goods are the things that people use to satisfy their wants and uh, you can touch them you can see them you can eat drink and play with those goods for example cotton candy now today is saturday today is thursday and after you uh, today is friday and you will have a friday night dinner when you going for a uh, a family night uh, with a family night then you might order some pizza and that pizza delivered at your doorstep is going to be a good you're going to touch them you're going to relish them you're going to eat them so that is a good you have your books you have your pens you have your notebooks they are all considered to be goods you are might be sitting somewhere you might be using some desktop laptop and watching this live stream that is also considered to be a good now comes the second part which is services now services are those things that people do for us example haircut so tomorrow is saturday you are having a long hair you going for a salon and you want to have a quick haircut small haircut now the barber or we can say the the person working in that salon is not going to provide you some goods or items or products rather he is going to provide you a service so that is called a service which people do for us and we have to pay the money for those services as well the same example suppose tonight you are ordering a pizza and you have to pay the money not only for the pizza that is a good but also for the service that the delivery boy has come from his warehouse and from his shop to the to your doorstep so that is also a service your gardener your driver your maid servant all are doing the services for us so we have to pay money for that as well so that those are services next one is assets now asset is a tangible in investment it means we can uh, touch them we it is a real life investment it is not an imaginary investment that has current or future economic value that means that for example you are having a house and you are having a car so that has some current value that has some future economic value also you are going to sell them if suppose in future for purchasing a new one then it will have some value so that you can exchange the the products you can exchange those goods 
So assets are those investment which has the value in the present time, also in the future. So your houses, uh, your uh, your cars, even your uh, uh, scooters, bikes, all which are having a huge, we can say, economic value. Then comes the trade. Now, what are trade? For example, you might have heard the news that India has a very good trade relationship with Russia, or India is having a very good relationship. Trade relationship with USA. Then what are we doing? The Indian goods are going to be exported to the USA, and the American goods are going to be imported to our Indian subcontinent, India. So trade generally means the transfer of goods, transfer of goods from one country, from one person, from one exchange, from one entity to another person, another country, another exchange. And for what? In terms of money. So we generally buy, we generally import the goods in terms of dollars, and we generally uh, export the goods in terms of our own currency. So that is trade. Then comes the final part, which is European Union. Now you might have heard that people living in uh, Germany, people living in France, people living in, uh, we can say the Italy, all these people are having a very, uh, we can say, a relaxed uh, condition that they can visit any country. In a European Union, without the consideration of any kind of travel restrictions or visa problems or any kind of any other uh, restrictions, why? Because they are a group of countries which are having uh, total 27 countries in total. They are in primarily in Europe. Earlier, U uh, UK, England was a part of European Union, but it has now we can say withdrawn from its uh, from its uh, group. So. It has 27 countries, and people living in those 27 countries are with the are having a very great relation, trade relation, cultural relation, and they can simply travel from one part of the country to another country without any kind of restrictions. So that is European Union. The currency which is used in European Union is euro. It is euro. You might have heard if you are a fan of football, you might have heard uh, European football league or European football club. So people uh, uh, football clubs. From Italy, uh, Juventus, Barcelona, Spain, and any other part of the world, they are simply competing for a single glory. So that is European Union. Now we have learned five, we can say five terms that are good for us because it will be used in our next slide. Now, okay, here is a simple story about the evolution of money. How the money has come to us. What is the purpose of money? Why we are doing? Why we are using the money for our exchange of goods and services? So, Adrian is a farmer who grows the oranges. After a good harvest, he has two kg of oranges in surplus, but he wants to buy some apples for his kitchen. Meanwhile, Ryan is another farmer who grows apples on his farm, and has two kg of apples that he wants to give away. Now, as you see, there are two persons. One is Adrian and one is Ryan. Now Adrian has two kg of oranges which are in surplus, which he did not use, which he will not use because he already has something for his consumption. And the another person is Ryan who has two kg of apples which he want to also give away. Now what they, what you will think they will do? They will come together. They will simply sit and they will exchange their products because the Ryan does not want the apples. He want to give away, distribute away. And Adrian, he does not want to have oranges. So, if they are having the, we can say, common mutual understanding, then they will exchange their products, and that is how we can say it comes comes to the concept of exchange of the goods. So, what will they will do? Adrian reaches out to Ryan, and they mutually decide to trade their products with each other. So, you can see no medium of exchange is used. They do not have used any other source of medium. Or any other source of money or something like that to buy and purchase the things. They have simply traded. They have simply exchanged their products, and that was the first concept used in the earlier times, in the old times, called to be a barter system. So when the people come together on a mark in a marketplace, and when they have surplus of goods, they simply exchange their products via mutual understanding. Okay, so no medium exchange is used, and they eventually relish this juicy fruits. So we have understood that how the concept of barter system was flourishing in the old times. Okay, next. 
now something about the money so the best things in life may be free but mostly it most things cost money so we have heard something someone say that uh, money is not the source of all the happiness yes it is true but it is a source of majority of the happiness your mother's affection might not come from the money your father's love might not come from money but to we can say father will give you some toys mother will give you some tasty food and that cost money that will you have to buy vegetables and they have to can say go to the shop and buy those goods and this will cost money so money also brings some source of happiness we all will agree so whether it is buying of toys candies or chocolates watching a movie going for a holiday all will cost money and what exactly is money let's find out now this is another story let us try to analyze this how this story uh, unfolds so money is a medium of exchange it is used to pay for the buying of goods and services now for example if we have a like 10 rupee note then we can go to a shop we can ask the shopkeeper to give me a, a packet of lays a packet of chips and he will simply keep that money and he will give me that the product so it is a medium of exchange we are not giving any item for the for the buying of any lace rather we are buy, we are giving a medium of exchange that medium of exchange is called the money in the form of currency notes or in the form of coins in the form of whatever we are our country is uh, having so money is used to measure the value of things also that what the price of the quantity is what the price of the item is we used to gain the things we need money has a value acceptable to all so all will come to a common common point common uh, fact that if we have to buy something then we have to shed the money we have to pay the money for them and money has a value acceptable to all it was invented so that people could easily trade the products and services with each other so what will happen suppose you are uh, you on, on a sunday morning uh you are having enough time you do not have any homework for monday you have completed your assignments and everything you want to go to watch a cricket match it is india versus australia it is also live happening in delhi uh, delhi feroz shah court stadium now what you will do you will purchase a ticket right you will purchase a ticket for the stadium now you will go to a counter and you will purchase a ticket but for that you need that money you need money and you will pay the money and for paying the money you are going to purchase the ticket now that ticket for which you are buying that uh, money from is going to give you experience experience of watching a cricket match live in a stadium so that is they are not providing you a good or an item or product rather the the experience or the service of uh, we can say the access to uh, watch the uh, cricket match in a live stadium so that is money is doing for us is not only providing the good we are also going to pay the money we are also going to pay the money for the buying and experiencing the things for the services we enjoy for the services we relish okay now usually the central bank or the monetary bank they are creating and issuing the money so we have a central bank also in india and they are creating creating and uh, issuing the money for example in india we have rbi reserve bank of india that issues the notes that that prints the notes in circulation whatever we are using now it is called the currency of that country for example united dollars in the united states they are using that currency the pounds in the united kingdom the euro in the european union the japanese yen in the japan and the rupee in india so these are the five common frequent uh, common currencies which we should know if we have to uh, know about the gk and the currencies of the all the countries in the world then we should know these things if we talk about the other currencies then we have in for example we have in kuwait kuwait we have kuwait dinar in qatar we have qatar riyal in we can say in bangladesh we have taka so we have all these currencies <coughs> named upon uh, different perceptions but they have their names they have their value and that is going to uh, help the people of the of the country to buy in exchange of goods now here is a worksheet worksheet for all you guys to uh, tell me that what are the currencies you know of these countries so matching of the currencies first of all we have united states so we know in united states we are going to they are going to use the us dollar so the symbol for us dollar is s with double uh, we can say cross here correct okay then we have european union 
it is a group of 27 countries group of 27 countries which are having a trade relations with each other they are going to use a common currency for all these countries the currency name is euro so the symbol for euro is i hope so this is the euro let me check yeah that is correct that is the symbol for euro then comes the japan japan capital is tokyo and the people of japan are using the japanese yen japanese yen is y for yen and y is a symbol for currency as well so that is the japanese currency so tell me in the comment section at how many have are you a fan of japanese anime if you're watching on japanese anime or not because that is quite popular in india right now okay then comes united kingdom so england and england we they use the pound sterling so this is pound pound sterling and it comes to india india we are using the indian rupee note having the mahatma gandhi ji picture on our currency notes father of india so indian rupee note this uh, symbol of indian rupee has also a very good story i will tell you later but uh, the competition was organized uh, all in a competition and the five designers were selected five uh, designs were selected and out of five those designs this design was we can say confirmed and it was used officially for all the currency notes in india when we write here even now in some time uh, now in some laptops in some desktops they are also we can say uh, implementing this rupee symbol into the keyboard so they have their in implemented also if you want to know the value of what are the values of these currencies you must know so in with respect to india for example uh, if one dollar is equal to 82 rupees in indian currency then 99 euro uh, if we talk about one euro then one euro is 99 rupees 99.5 i think but yeah 99 rupees in terms of indian currency uh, japanese yen is um, you have to check it out it's your homework and uh, then comes the pound pound is uh, near about uh, 80 if, i think 82 if i'm not wrong but yeah that is in pound but if i talk about the highest valued currency uh, in terms of the indian rupee note then it's the kuwait the currency from kuwait uh, it's a middle east country and it's called kuwaiti dinar so their value of one kuwaiti dinar is around 270 rupees in indian currency notes so that is a huge value right that is a huge value but we normally consider us dollar to be the we can say the overall the we can say official currencies for the, all the world for exchange of goods and services because that has been accepted by all the world by all the countries now let us submit this that is correct that is correct let us continue now okay next is when was money invented so we know money history of money is very fascinating it goes back to thousands of years and the first known of currency it is going to date back nearly about 5000 years ago so you should know the name of the currency uh, it was called to be shekel and it was used by the mesopotamian people so we uh, you must have uh, we, you must have read in the history books that there used to be roman civilization mesopotamian civilization ottoman empire and roman uh, yeah all these empires were there big civilization huge civilizations indus valley civilization also and the first uh, currency in the form of we can say history known to us was called shekel and it was used by the Mesopotamian civilization, right? Then, then comes the quick chart on how the money has evolved over a period of time. So we are not using the same thing which we have been using for five years, 500, 600 years ago. We have evolved to you a now virtual currency also. Let us talk about barter system first. So we have seen barter system was simply the exchange of goods and services on a mutual understanding. They do not have any concept of any exchange of we can say paper paper notes or currency notes then comes the metal coins now metal coins were used by the rulers by the kings of their civilization copper coins gold coins silver coins all this we are used then comes the paper money which we are also using now as of now so in the form of 10 rupee currency notes or we can say coins also then comes the banks now banks also used banks is a simply a financial institution which simply circulates and regulates the money it's we can consider them as an rbi reserve bank of india okay which uh, prints the money which issues the money to in the whole country then comes plastic money you must have seen with your parents they have the cards 
they have the debit cards they have the credit cards and we will learn the difference also between the debit cards and credit cards uh, in our future classes but yeah we have the plastic money concept also where we do not have to keep the money into our wallet rather the money will be kept in the bank only we can use, use only the cards for the we can say buying and purchasing of goods then comes the electronic money now you must be very much familiar now you are a gen z kid that you we are using now a virtual mode of upi that is called to be your electronic money means we are installing some apps and those those apps for example google pay phone pay uh, we can say paytm all these apps are nothing but they are kind of a mediator between the banks and the we can say the the merchants so it help us to simply transfer the money on a click of a button so so simple it is with the help of internet and now the latest one the the most you can say the buzzing one and trending one is the cryptocurrency it is a virtual form of currency it's not a real currency it is a virtual form of currency it's a digital money and which is usually kept in the digital wallet and people are also exchanging and trading the goods and items using that money it is not uh, legal in all the countries of the world but it it has been banned sometime it has been again we can say bounce back but yeah it is called to be the future money it is called to be the future that the world will be circulating world will be working on this model okay got the concept evolution of money from top from the big barter to cryptocurrency okay next is uh, barter system so same thing is uh, let us uh, simply deal this with story so barter system was invented uh, people used to exchange the goods and the other uh, items this was called to be the barter system it is also one of the oldest forms of money that the humans have ever known right people used to exchange i am writing on let uh, on the left hand side it is written people used to uh, exchange the something with the other wanted and vice versa Pe usually the things that were rarely found in nature and whose circulation could easily be managed emerged as the valuable for barter people bartered what kind of things people bartered food people bartered tea spices gold silver coins weapons also the animal skin the breads shells cattle skill perfume means you can simply imagine to be that all the things were going to be bartered and if the people have a common and mutual understanding they then come together and they exchange their goods in return of that but the problem for barter system was that if suppose that i do not want your thing and you, you do not want my thing which i have and you have in surplus in excess then what will then what will happen then we will not exchange our goods and we will keep we will keep our goods as it is then we uh, the exchange of goods will not be possible right therefore it comes as a failure in future days so the lack of common we can say measure value lack of common mutual understanding or lack of common we can say exchange of the item this led to the failure of the barter system because normally not all the people will will want the same thing which you are having in surplus or you are having in excess so therefore it was a need it was a desire to have something else so that we can trade the goods and the products on the basis of that exchange of medium then comes the coins then comes the paper notes then comes the currency and so on okay now next is uh, this is the uh, we can say did you know fact so it is important did you know fact so salt which we consume on daily basis in our uh, in our food so it is so commonly used today that is we know but it was used once upon a time as a currency as a mode of currency why and where salt was so valuable at that time that the roman soldiers were paid with it unlike today so the salary for the roman soldiers who were fighting and who were going to the battle they were not paid in the form of some salary rather they were paid in the form of some commodity an item and that commodity was salt so salt was the item a salt was uh, we can say the product which was giving which was paid to the roman soldiers for their work so where large mass production of salt is common in the early civilization the production of salt was a time consuming process these were different ways of producing salt and it become a form of the money it is so valuable that it become a form of money so if anybody asked that salt was uh uh why the salt was so valuable and who were the first we can say the group of group of persons who were being paid in the form of salt then the answer will be roman soldiers because it was a very time consuming process 
तो साल्ट बिकम वेरी मच वेल्यूएबल एंड देयर फॉर इट वाज कंसीडर्ड टू बी अ मीडियम ऑफ एक्सचेंज फॉर्म ऑफ मनी नाउ एज ह्यूमन सिविलाइजेशन हैज प्रोग्रेस सो मेटल्स सच एज गोल्ड सिल्वर कॉपर वर यूज्ड इंस्टेड ऑफ गुड्स सो वी नो दैट फ्रॉम द बार्टर सिस्टम वी हैव स्विच्ड ऑन टू नाउ कॉइंस सो इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ मनी कॉइंस वर अ ह्यूज माइलस्टोन एब्सोल्युटली यस because they were one of the first currencies that allowed the people to pay by the number of coins rather than the weight so it means that every coin will have some value every coin will have some value and is going to be decided by the number of coins rather than the weight how much it weighs so when the kings ruled they hit on the idea of minting coins from precious metals for example uh, gold metal uh, we can say from the silver metal even from the copper so coins gained more value after they were stamped on the an emblem it has some mark it has some we can say stamp on the coin as well it assured its weight and the value denomination as decided by the rulers so every coin has certain value and the value was decided by the rulers by the kings and if they have the stamp that gained more prominence that gained more value okay now also it is also believed that paper money originated in china so a very good we can say a uh, did you know fact that paper currency note was first of all invented and originated in china our neighbor north in north neighbor around 700 bc before christ the distribution and the use of the money were carefully regulated by the emperor so the the ruler the king of the chinese empire we are controlling distributing the control of that paper currency note it was made from the bark of mulberry trees so very important this fact that the first paper currency note which originated in china was made from the bark of mulberry trees and by the late 1819 century this paper money was adopt, adapted adopted in the other parts of the world also so right now in the picture you are able to see 100 rupee 200 rupee 50 rupee notes it is a indian currency note it is has the mahatma gandhi ji picture and a national emblem and the signature of your rbi governor also so all these are written and it gives the prominence it gives the we can say a proof a guarantee that the people of india can use this currency note to buy and purchase any good any product in the country right so as the time passed paper money came to be regarded as the money itself so as of today paper money is regulated and controlled by the central bank of the authority of the country so in india the central bank is called to be reserve bank of india okay in, in for example in other countries they will have their own central banks now next is it consists of the bank notes with the value of each note printed on it so as you are able to see here on the right hand side that every currency note has the values written and also the designated the picture the father founding figure for example if you uh, talk about us dollar then uh, the picture on them is the founding father of the usa united states of america okay even in pakistan rupee they have their own founding figure in uh, bangladesh taka they have they have their own founding figure picture on their printed note just to give some respect and the pay the homage to that personality now this is paper currency note next next is what is a bank now doing so banks are flourishing everywhere we have the state banks we have some government banks we have some private banks now what is the purpose of a bank and what does bank do so the first banks were started by the roman empire around 1800 bc a bank is a place that looks after the people's money for them and keeps keeps it safe so you will say sir why are not we keeping the money on in our own homes so we can keep that money we are keeping the money in our own homes also but if we have large sum of money and if we have the some kind of danger that people or thieves might loot us might uh, steal us then banks is, are usually a safe place for keeping that money and one thing note that banks also keep the money as a safety for a safety but also they give the interest on the account of money on the sum of money that what you are depositing so two things we are getting advantages from the banks but people hold the money as deposits with the banks and banks pays interest you are seeing it here banks pays interest on the money deposited so money can be withdrawn through checks also known as credit money or bank money so you will ask sir how does a bank money how does a bank function then if it is also keeping the money safe it is if it is also keeping if it is if it is also giving the some interest some extra money amount of money on the on the deposition 
then how they are earning what is the function then what ever we deposit they use that money to give the to give that sum of money to the needy persons suppose you you wanted to you wanted to uh, we can say buy a not buy a, your your uncle wanted to start a business and they need they are in need of a money they are need, need of a loan then they will go to the bank and if the conditions are very much fulfilled and satisfied then bank will give loan to them and they will uh, charge money from them that is the emi now what will happen whatever the money they are going to uh, we are going to deposit uh, to the banks banks are using that money and they are going to give to the needy persons in the form of loans so that is a way of we can say uh, my, uh, way of earning so banks usually charge higher interest from the lenders and it gives lower interest to the depositors so that is the function of money and how they are earning okay next is the plastic money so debit cards and elast uh, credit cards are the forms of plastic money and the main aim of plastic money is to remove the need for carrying the cash to make transactions so that we know right because we if we have a lots of money to we can say uh, in the wallet it will have a kind of we can say a kind of in danger for us not only for the safety of the the person itself so therefore the plastic cards came it is not only a safety but also for the ease the convenience the convenience it brings with us so the bank will simply the plastic money will help us to pay the we can say the exchange of uh, the goods and the products also it will be very convenient to use at any shop and any places electronic money it is the exchange of money via the internet to pay for the goods and the services so debit cards credit cards bank transfers digital wallets mobile payments are used for the online payment so on the click of a, click of a button you are so we are getting advance on daily basis that on the click of a button using the a mediator using the apps like paytm gpay and phone pay the bank is deducting the money from the ones of the account and it is depositing to the others account in a matter of seconds so cryptocurrency the digital currencies have been introduced and these are cryptocurrencies that do not exist in physical form example bitcoin uh these virtual currencies are not issued by the government or other central body as i have told you earlier also that these are the digital money these are not the real form of money it is kept in a digital wallet it is a virtual form of money so therefore it is not legalized everywhere it has been banned somewhere but it is also getting very much importance in the we can say future world because of its high uh, we can say transactional value very high transactional value also getting the we can say we are going into the meta world we are going into the fictional world then it might come as a very handy instrument for purchasing of goods and products so this was all about the different forms of money money how the money has evolved money has been from the barter to the cryptocurrency and in the next class we will learn about that how we are going to differentiate and the fin manage our finances and different sources of instrument of investing money saving money earning money and all these things okay so see you in the next class and have a good day bye bye everyone thank you